Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam ma ba'd ayya lahabati fillah it occurred to me that it's very important that we understand why we warn against Ahl Bid'ah and why we don't take from the books of Ahl Bid'ah. What is the reason? Is it out of hasid and envy and hatred? Is it out of uh, jealousy? Is it out of a need to make yourself seem better or seem bigger or seem more important or seem more pious? What are the reasons? For what, First and foremost, that this is the madhab of the Salaf. This is the madhab of the earliest generations of Muslims in the Muslim community and those who follow them in righteousness. So therefore, this is a pathway in which we should traverse. Because the Prophet ﷺ let us know, وسلم, that they were the best of generations and that their sunnah should be followed. The Prophet ﷺ said, Alaykum bi sunnah wa sunnah al khulafa rashidin al mahdin. It's upon you, my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided. Uh, Khalifat. And the Prophet ﷺ said, The Prophet ﷺ said, The best people is my generation, then those who follow them, then those who follow them. This is very important for us to understand because it's the madhab of the Salaf. So that in and of itself makes it uh, more wise, makes it wiser, makes it more full of fiqh and understanding of the religion and, and more knowledgeable of a path and coming closer to Allah because they were closer to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his Sunnah. They were there when it was being revealed, the, the message in the Quran was being revealed and they were the ones who, who carried that message and helped to preserve that message. So there's, their way is the best way. So why? What is the hikmah? The hikmah is in order to preserve the religion. That the religion was preserved in this manner in, through the science of Jarwa Ta'deel of criticizing and praising individuals who were the carriers of narration in order to, have the, to keep the uh, narrations authentic, to look at the authenticity, auth authenticity of those people who transmitted this very important Islamic knowledge, which is a hadith, which forms the foundation of a religion. So it's important to know who is from Ahl Sunnah and who isn't. What Aqidah is the Aqidah of Ahl Sunnah and what isn't? What is the methodology of the Salaf of this Ummah and what goes against it or opposes it? Our Shaykh said, Hafidhullah Ta'ala, Shaykh. Sa'id bin Halayl, Hafidhullah Ta'ala, in his book entitled Nasiha, he said, وأنذر, He said, وَمَا زَالَ السَّلَفَ الصَّالِحِ يَرُدُّ بَعْضُهُمْ عَلَى بَعْضِ بِأَسْمَائِهِمْ هَذَا فِي مَا بَيْنُهُمْ أَمَّا الْمُخَالِفْ فَلَا تَخْفَى عَلَيْكُمْ مُؤَلَفَاتِ جَرْوَ تَعْدِيلْ لِلْأَشْخَاسِ وَمُؤَلَفَاتِ الْأَئِمَّةِ مِنْ أَهْلَ السُنَّةِ أعيانهم وأسمائهم وألقابهم بل وتقرب إلى الله عز وجل بهذا. So the Sheikh said, have the Allah Taala in his book entitled An Nasiha, with regards to this important asal, and he said, and the Salaf did not cease. The Salaf Asali, meaning the pious predecessors, did not cease to refute one another. They refuted one another by name and this was what was uh, in those issues which were between them as for the mukhalif as for the one who uh, who differed then it should be no mystery to you that the books of Jarwa Ta'deel as we just men mentioned uh, with regards to Ashkhas or individuals and the books of the Imams of Ahl Sunnah about Ahl Bid'ah are full of warning against the people of Bid'ah by name and as specific individuals and by their nicknames if you, you'd like to uh, say Rather, this was a means for coming closer to Allah the Almighty 
through this uh, science. So meaning that this is mishroor, it's from the religion to warn against the people of desires, the people who are distorting the religion of Islam. Because how is it? Is it possible that we can keep silent when we have extremists killing in the name of Islam, slaughtering in the name of Islam, deterring people from the correct path of Islam, distorting the image of Islam and the image of Ahl Sunnah and the image of those people who show uh, the outward aspects of the Sunnah, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Is it possible that we can keep silent why these extremists call our girls and our young boys to come join them and be a part of their wickedness. This is absolutely unacceptable. And it isn't from the minhaj of Ahlul Sunnah, the minhaj of the Salaf of this Ummah. And this is one of the reasons why it is important to warn against the people of desires and their books and to avoid it to, in, in order to, to prevent the spread of wickedness and the spread prevent the spread of wicked and corrupt aqidah and methodologies. Allah has ordered us not to split, to be one community and not to divide and to adhere to the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam if we want success. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem wa a'tasimu bi habli la jami'an wa la tafarraku. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and adhere all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah and do not divide. And the rope of Allah is the Quran. And the rope of Allah is the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and the madhab of the Salaf of this Ummah. That's the rope of Allah Azza wa Jal. And that's what we want to adhere to. So we have to remind one another to adhere to that asl from the foundation of Islam and not to depart from it, and not to distort it, and not to belittle it, and not to go beyond the bounds and transgress. Qala ashatabi, ashatabi, rahimahullah ta'ala, inna al-firqata najat, wa hum ahl sunnah ma'murun bi'adawat ahl al-bid'ah, wa tashreed bihim, wa tankil biman, biman anhasha ila jihatihim. ونحن مأمورون بمعاداتهم وهم مأمورون بموالاتنا والرجوع إلى الجماعة A beautiful quote by Imam al-Shatibi in his book Al-Ittisam. He said, Verily the successful sect or maybe the saved sect, they are Ahlul Sunnah and they are ordered to have enmity towards Ahl Bid'ah to the people of desires. And to uh, scare them away. And to warn against what comes from them. And we are commanded with enmity towards them. And they are commanded with loving us. And to returning to the jama'ah. Qala Imam Abu Uthman Ismail al-Sabuni rahimahullah ta'ala. Hikayatin an ahl sunnah وَيَبْغُضُونَ أَهْلَ الْبِدَعَ أَلَّذِينَ أَهْدَثُوا فِي الدِّينَ مَا لَيْسَ مِنْهُ وَلَا يُحِبُّونَهُمْ وَلَا يَصْحَبُونَهُمْ Imam Abu Uthman Ismail al-Sabuni رحمه الله تعالى said in his book عقيدة السلف أصحاب الحديث رحمة الله عليه ورحمة الواسية He said related to أهل السنة He said and they detest the people of innovation. Those who innovate something new in the religion, which is not from it. And they do not love them, nor do they take them uh, in compan uh, as companions or, you know, be with them. وَقَالَ فُضَيْلْ بِنْ عِيَادُ رَحْمَةُ الْعَلَيْهِ من أحب صاحب البدع أهبت الله عمله وأخرج نور الإسلام من قلبه. And this is a narration that was in uh, Imam Babahari, رحمة الله عليه. He had in his book Shar Sunnah that Fudail bin Iyad رحمه الله تعالى said, whoever loves a person of desires, a person of bid'ah, then Allah will 
destroy his his uh, his deeds and take the light of Islam from his heart. وَنْ أُوْسْ بِنْ عَبْدِ اللَّهِ رِبْعِي أَنْهُ كَانَ يَقُولُ لِأَنَّ يُجَاوْرُونِي الْقِرْدَ وَالْخَنَازِيرِ فِي الدَّارِ أَحَبَّ إِلَيَّ مِنْ أَنْ يُجَارُونِي رَجُلٌ مِنْ أَهْلِ الْأَهْوَى أُوْسْ إِبْنْ عَبْدِ اللَّهِ رِبْعِي رحمة الله عليه he said that I would prefer that a ape or a pig was in my home than and it's more beloved to me than a, a, that a man from Ahla Bida or Ahla from the, from the people of desires would be my neighbor those are very powerful narrations from the Salaf of this Ummah, and there are countless and books written, volumes written about the importance of adhering to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and avoiding Ahl Bid'ah and their Aqidah and their books. And we've already stated why, due to the danger and harm that they have in distorting the religion of Islam and belittling Islam and making Islam similar to the other faiths that were based upon monotheism, for example, the way of the Jews and the Christians, which were abrogated for that reason of being of becoming deviant and tainted and the people not adhering to the commands. So this is why it's imperative that the believer adheres to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with the understanding of the Salaf. And in Babel Ola, this is the way of the people of knowledge from the ulama and the talabat al-ilm that they have to set this example. This does not mean, and another important aspect I want to mention, this refers to the statement of al, uh, the, the concept of al-wala wal-bara, and that is that we love a person in accordance with their adherence to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And we dislike them in accordance with their disobedience to Allah and His Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Meaning that we don't go beyond the bounds. We don't become extreme in either of those contexts. And we ask Allah the Almighty to separate.